Today, I made the oldest player on every NBA team 99 overall. Starting off with the Sixers, you've got Pat Bev. Just imagine how much more trash he'd talk if he was a 99 overall. The Bucks have an absolutely loaded front court with 99 overall Brooke Lopez, and of course Giannis is here as well. We'll see if DeMar can save the Bulls. The only stat he had on 99 before this was strength, if you know you know. The Celtics get even more stacked with Big Al going up to a 99. PJ Tucker is going to be able to do a lot more than just play defense and shoot corner threes. 99 overall D Rose playing alongside 93 overall Ja, this duo is about to be special. I forgot Wesley Matthews was even in the league. We'll see if Kevin Love can save Miami, they've been struggling a lot as of late. Big Booty is a 99. Kelly Olynyk is here to lead the Jazz to a ring. JaVale McGee might be able to win Shaq an MVP and the real MVP award. Evan Fournier is going to be able to finally get some minutes for the Knicks. We all knew LeBron was the oldest player on the Lakers. Joe Ingles adds to an already really solid Magic team. The new greatest duo in the league, Luka and Markeith Morris. Spencer Dinwiddie is a 99 for the Nets. The Nuggets front court is going to be insane with DeAndre Jordan and Nikola Jokic. I'm pretty sure the Pacers brought James Johnson in to be an enforcer, but now he's going to be their new star player. We'll see if 99 overall CJ can help Zion win a ring. I don't think Gallinari is going to be able to save the Pistons. I didn't know Garrett Temple was still in the league. Uncle Jeff. Dougie McBuckets. Kevin Durant is the oldest player in Phoenix. Isn't it crazy how old guys like KD, Braun, and Steph are getting? Davis Bertans is going to be back hooping for the first time since he got that big contract. It seems like he got paid and then just stopped hooping. Mike Conley is a 99 for the T-Wolves. Did y'all see Ant got fined 40 k for what he said about the refs? At 30 years old, Malcolm Brogdon is the oldest player on the Blazers. Maybe CP3 can finally win a ring at a 99 overall. DeLon Wright might be able to lead the Wizards to five wins. And that's it for the roster breakdown. Let's get into the simulation. Season is wrapped, and even with all these 99s, Luka found a way to win MVP. Shout out to DeMar, though. He won DPOI, averaging 31, 14, and 9. Checking out the All-NBA First Team, we've got quite a few of our 99 overalls. Here's DeMar DeRozan, CJ McCollum averaged a triple-double, LeBron was hooping, and Spencer Dinwiddie even averaged a triple-double. On the second team, you had Chris Paul, Evan Fournier, Kelly Olynyk. there's Jokic of course, and you've got KD. And on the third team, it's Brogdon, Conley, Tristan Thompson, Giannis, and JaVale McGee. And then here's your All-Defensive Teams. With all that out of the way, I want to take a quick look at the top teams in each conference, and then we'll get into the playoffs. In the East, it was the Cavs at number one, with Tristan Thompson running center. At two, it was the Miami Heat with 99 overall K-Love. At three, it was the Indiana Pacers with James Johnson. And at four, it was New York. And then in the West, the number one seed was the Memphis Grizzlies with Derrick Rose and Ja. At two, you had the Mavs with MVP Luka and Markeith Morris. In third, it was the New Orleans Pelicans. And in fourth, it was the Denver Nuggets with their crazy front court of DeAndre Jordan and Nikola Jokic. So for round number one, I'm going to press simulate round and we'll stop it if we get any game sevens. It looks like in round number one, we've got three game sevens. First up, we got the Knicks taking on the Nets. Spencer Dinwiddie versus Evan Fournier. What a battle. And the Knicks are going to come out on top in this one, winning by 13 points, 35 and 10 from Jalen Brunson. And 99 overall, Evan Fournier gives them a smooth 9 points. Now let's head out west where we've got a game 7 between the Pels and the Warriors. And the Warriors are going to come out on top in this one. They had a mean triple-double from Chris Paul. 23, 15, and 18. Oh my goodness. And we've got one more game 7. The Timberwolves taking on the Nuggets. And Denver comes out on top in this one. 31 points from DeAndre Jordan. 8 of 8 shooting, he even made 3 3-pointers, three oh my goodness. And now our round 2 matchups are set, we've got Denver taking on the Los Angeles Clippers, we've got Golden State taking on the Thunder, Cleveland going up against New York, and Miami versus Philadelphia. And we end up with one game 7 here, it's between Denver and the Clippers. PJ Tucker versus DeAndre Jordan, an absolute box office matchup. And the Nuggets are going to get another Game 7 win. This time it's Jokic with a 44-point triple-double. Yeah, I don't know how you stop this front court. You've got Jokic 
and then you've got deandre jordan who's basically turned into baby Jokic after all these attribute boosts he's got now our conference finals are set we've got okc taking on the nuggets and cleveland taking on philadelphia after four games denver and okc are all tied up so let's get in the sim cast and finally we've got a close game it's a five point game here less than two minutes to go ball is gonna go into josh giddy giddy gives it over to holmgren chet going to the basket on Jokic. he swings it to bertans back down to chet and chet's gonna lay it up and in now oklahoma city is within three jamal murray's bringing it up here for denver he gets the screen from kcp murray gonna find Jokic in the post the joker going to work on chet holmgren he spins layup is off now it's rebounded by davis bertans bertans bringing up the ball here he's gonna pull a three and he misses it's rebounded by murray murray's looking for Jokic once again it's gonna go down to the joker in the post he's trying to back down holmgren that was a nice post move there from Jokic, and the nuggets are up by five what a celebration from Jokic! now chet holmgren's playing a little bit of point center for okc holmgren's going to the basket short jumper is off it's rebounded by aaron gordon gordon gives it up to Jokic, and now it goes to murray jamal murray gonna slow things down a bit here murray's looking for Jokic once again the joker with a mismatch and a rare dunk so now the nuggets are up by seven the thunder are gonna need a bucket here to stay in this game lou dort gives it into isaiah joe joe over to bertans now it goes to holmgren chet fakes the three and swings it over to bertans bertans over to joe joe for three and he misses that is going to do it the denver nuggets get a win here in game five that's a big win for them deandre jordan only three points in this one he only took one shot but don't worry, Jokic had his back for sure, 37, 12, and 7. With the Cavs waiting for them in the NBA Finals, the Nuggets have a chance to close this series out in six games. And it looks like the deciding game is going to come down to the wire. A minute 33 to go here, Thunder are up by one. I think last game, Shea Gilgis Alexander was fouled out, but he's in right now. SGA has it, he's defended by Murray. Shea gonna give it to Joe. Joe gets the screen from Chet Holmgren. Holmgren's rolling to the basket, but it's gonna go down to Shea in the post. Shea, post fade is good, that's a tough shot. Looking like the Nuggets are going to Jokic in the post once again. He's doubled, he still goes up with it and he misses. That wasn't a very smart play from the Joker. Now the Thunder can grow their lead here. Isaiah Joe gonna swing it over to SGA. Shea Gilgis Alexander in his bag. He swings it over to Joe. Joe over to Bertans. Bertans gives it back to Shea. SGA swings it to J Dub. Somebody's going to have to shoot it. Not much time left. J Dub mid range jumper is off and it's rebounded by Jokic. The Joker swings it up to DeAndre Jordan. Jordan gives it to Murray. Murray once again looking for the Joker and Jokic is going to get fouled. First foul shot for the Joker is good. Second one for Jokic is also good. So now the Nuggets are only down by one. No need to foul here. Shea Gilgis Alexander is bringing the ball up for OKC. SGA trying to get to the basket. It looks like Murray poked it away, but instead, Murray ended up fouling him. Holmgren gives it in, and now for some reason, the CPU is going to foul. I don't know why they do that. First foul shot for Shea is good. Second one for Shea is also good. Nuggets are down by three. 27 seconds to go. Plenty of time to get a quality shot off. Let's see if the Nuggets can tie this game up. Jamal Murray has it. They're going to Jokic once again. The Joker is double teamed right now. He passes it down to Jordan and DeAndre's layup is good. Nuggets only down by one, but OKC is going back to the line. And it's Shea, so both of these are probably dropping. First one is good. Second one for Gilgis Alexander is also good. So Nuggets are once again down by three points here. 14 seconds to go. I'd assume they got to go for a three now. Jamal Murray gives it to Jokic. Jokic over to Caldwell Pope. KCP for three and he misses it. That is going to do it. We've got a game seven coming up. SGA 43 points. Davis Bertans a smooth triple double. DeAndre Jordan had a great game. He was playmaking. He was scoring. So did Jokic, but it wasn't enough. So it all comes down to this game seven. And this one is going to go to OKC. So the Thunder end up winning in the conference finals. And now they're moving on to face the Cavs. Shea was hooping once again. Bertans had a triple double. And that was enough for their squad to advance. We've got a battle of the bigs here in the finals. Davis Bertans versus Tristan Thompson. Game one of the series is going to be a Thunder win. Donovan Mitchell had a good game. So did Tristan Thompson. But it wasn't enough as Shea was hooping. 
Game two is very close here. We've got a one point game, two minutes and 15 seconds to go. Cavs have the ball. It's gonna go to Donovan Mitchell, D Mitch to the basket. Layup is off, but it's rebounded by Tristan Thompson. Tristan Thompson was ready on the offensive glass there. Shea Gilgis Alexander going to the basket. Layup is off and it's rebounded by Mobley. Cavs are playing big with Allen Mobley and Thompson in the game. It's stolen by Holmgren. Jalen Williams up to SGA. Shea to the basket and he's fouled by Mobley. First one for Shea is good. He's got 44 points after that free throw. Second one for Shea is also good. So now the Cavs only have a one point lead. Donovan Mitchell, defended by Josh Giddy, gonna get the screen from Tristan Thompson. D Mitch dumps it down to Thompson. Thompson out to Mobley. Evan Mobley for three, and it's good. That's a huge shot for Mobley. SGA has it now for OKC. Thunder looking for an answer down by four points here. Shea gonna get the screen from Holmgren. Holmgren's rolling, and Shea is gonna fake and go up with it. He misses. It's rebounded by Thompson. Tristan Thompson passes it up to Okoro. Now it goes to Mitchell. Mitchell spins, pulls the jumper, and misses. Now it goes up to Lou Dort for OKC. Dort gonna give it to SGA. Shea trying to go to work here on Darius Garland. He gets the screen from J-Dub. SGA, oh, beautiful bounce pass down to Williams. Now the Thunder are within two. No need to foul here. The Cavs can put themselves in a pretty good spot if they score. Donovan Mitchell working on Josh Giddy. Mitchell is going to get fouled here to reach in on Giddy. Donovan Mitchell going to the basket here, fakes a couple times, swings it out to Okoro. Now it goes to Garland. Darius Garland gets the screen from Thompson. Thompson on the pick and roll, and he dunks it home. Tristan Thompson is cooking right now, man. Cavs have a four point lead. In this situation, you do not want to give up a three pointer. Dort gives it into Shea. SGA going straight to the basket for an easy floater. Bad defense there from Darius Garland. And now the Cavs are going to be shooting some free throws. First one for Darius Garland is good. Second one for DG is off. Oh, man. That means it's a one possession game here. Thunder have the ball. I'd assume OKC is going to go to Shea here and try and hit a three to tie the game. Oh no, SGA is attacking the basket, steps back, misses. It's rebounded by Holmgren, and Holmgren misses the tip in. And now the Cavs are going to the line once again with a chance to go up by five. First one for Mitchell is good. Second one for D. Mitch is also good, so that's probably going to do it. I mean, maybe if the Thunder hit a quick three, they have a chance. Shea swings it over to Chet. Chet from deep, and he misses. That is going to do it for game two. Cavs get a win, and the series is all tied up, despite 47 from SGA. Tristan Thompson was kind of cooking for the Cavs whenever we hopped in. We've got another close one here in game three. Cavs are up by two points. Ball's going to go to Donovan Mitchell. Mitchell gets the screen from Evan Mobley and pulls a three. D. Mitch misses it. It's rebounded by Giddy. Giddy up to Davis Bertans. Bertans back to Giddy. Giddy looking for Holmgren in the post. Holmgren is defended by Thompson, but Tristan Thompson wasn't playing any type of defense there. So now this game is all tied up. Donovan Mitchell at the top of the key gets the screen from Evan Mobley. D. Mitch going to dump it down to Mobley and a nice pick and roll for the Cavs. The Cavs are a great pick and roll team. I mean, they've got Evan Mobley, they've got Tristan Thompson, they've got good size. Josh Giddy is looking for Chet Holmgren in the post here. He finds him. Holmgren gonna put up a hook and miss it. It's rebounded by Thompson. Tristan Thompson running some point center here, bringing the ball up. Now he gives it to Mitchell. D. Mitch wide open for a midi and he hits it. So the Cavs are now up by four. Thunder are in need of a bucket and Chet Holmgren's bringing it up. Holmgren gets the screen from Bertans. Chet's going to swing it to Bertans for a three ball and he knocks it down. So it is a one point game here. Thunder do not need to foul. Donovan Mitchell looking to make his move. Gets the screen from Thompson. He's going to fake. Mitchell still going to put it up. He misses and Thompson misses the dunk. Thunder call timeout down by one. I can't believe Thompson missed that. Lou Dort gives it into Josh Giddy. Giddy down to Holmgren, and Holmgren misses the layup too. He gets his own rebound, goes back up, misses again. Now Mobley grabs it, and he's fouled. What is going on right now? First free throw for Mobley is cash. Even if Mobley hits this second one, Thunder will still have a chance to tie it, and it looks like Mobley will knock down both. Thunder are going to need a three to potentially send this game to overtime. Ball goes to Giddy. Now it goes to Dort for a three, and he misses it. That is going to do it. Another Cavs win in the clutch. Tristan Thompson, a triple-double.
The Cavs have been really good in these hopping games, and now they've got a 2-1 to series lead. Thunder can't afford to go down 3-1 with Game 4 coming up. And it looks like OKC got the memo, a 10-point win in Game 4, setting up a big Game 5 with the series all tied up. And Game 5 is going to be another Cavs win, 32-17-4 for Tristan Thompson. The Cavs are one game away from a Larry O'Brien trophy. And they're going to get it here in Game 6. Tristan Thompson, a triple-double. Donovan Mitchell with 40. And Tristan wins Finals MVP. That's it for the video. Have a great day. Be sure to like and subscribe.